What's going on everybody? Got a little update for you on how the urchins are doing and also on how the mangroves are doing too. So it's going to be quick. Uh, if you already tuned in the other day, we were acclimating the two urchins. How long did it take? It took a while. So the pin cushion was at 1024. We were bringing it up to 1025 in here. So that one took about two and a half, three hours. The long spine was the one that was a huge, a huge hit on the time it took. Um, it took about six hours. We were going from 1023 to 1025. Um, when it got to be around 2.30 in the morning, uh, I started it at 8 um, p.m. the night before. So, um, when it got to be around two, I started taking some water out of the little acclimation bucket and um, just made it to where everything that was dripping in was more uh, concentrated. Uh, I just knew it was going to take too long uh, to keep acclimating with all of the same water that I had started with in the little acclimation bucket. So once I did that, it took an extra hour after that and then we were good to go. So hope that helps you guys out when you're trying to acclimate these guys. If it's taking too long and you're following the same process of using the digital refractometer, checking what you've got in your, in your main tank, checking what you're bringing from the pet store and trying to meet it, you know, trying to meet the new tank that uh, the little guy is going into. Uh, if it's taking too long, if it's taking more than two hours, just start taking some of the water out. They've already been able to acclimate to some of it and um, maybe increase the drip. That's another thing that I did too. Um, I was increasing the, the drip. I think I was at three drips per second. I went up to probably, it was just constant, a constant drip. Um, so maybe five or six times per second. And then um, I additionally would throw in when I was testing the water, um, the water that I would um, test uh, with I would go ahead and I would just take a little extra squirt from the tank and put it in um, Eventually it just made things go quicker, but I'll go ahead and show you guys where the pin cushion and the, uh, the long spine are now and um, I think they're doing really good. They're they're basically going everywhere other than where I want them to be um, But that that's usually how they work out too and I also want to show you guys just something that I'm working on trying to figure out is uh the level at which the um, the algae is actually building up on the wall of the tank. So um, uh, I kind of made it to where you can see where I just cleaned it and where it is built up after a really heavy um, a really heavy cleaning, uh, where basically I had a couple days of buildup on every side. Of the tank and um, where it is now and it's it's just uh, that the algae is building up very quickly so I need to get some kind of little creatures to go ahead and try and help me out with with that algae cleanup just because it's, it's becoming a pretty big chore I, I don't mind doing it every three days but having to do it every day on nine feet of tank especially that one where you can't really splash the water too much otherwise it goes out of the rim um, turns into a little bit of a chore. So, but let's go ahead and take a look at these guys. I'll go ahead and bring the camera over. Alright, say hi to Maggie to Vishla. How you doing, Maggie? How you doing? Hi. Alright, so, let's see if we can get Mr. Longspine in there. There we go. So that is Mr. Longspine. He is doing just fine. He is literally cruising all over the tank. So he stands super happy, super healthy so far. Um, he's been all over the rock work. And um, yeah, I mean, just nothing else to really say other than uh, he's doing fine after the whole acclimation process. Let's see if we can get him zoomed in a little more. Yep. So um, just as the point of reference, this is basically what one day of algae build up is like 
Um, so maybe getting the uh, UV um, kind of protectant for the window so not as much ultraviolet light comes in. Maybe that's going to help. Not really sure. And uh, then Mr. Pincushion. Where's he at? There we go. Yeah. So we got Mr. Pincushion right there. Should be, oh, no, it's focusing on the rock work. Oh, let's go right over here. Having trouble focusing auto by auto. But either way, he's, he's cruising around the tank as well. So no problems with him. Let's see if I can get him from a different angle. This lens. No. Yeah, it's wanting to zoom on to everything. Here we go. All right, there we go. That's some good, some good capture on them. So that's the update, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, wait, forgot about this. So here's the update with the mangroves. Um, the two mangroves that have the leaves, those ones are doing just fine. Those are the ones that I've had for a couple years. Those are the... I believe they are the black mangroves or the red mangroves. They're the ones that are kind of for brackish water, but they've been acclimated to this water for a long time. The two new ones, um, which, you know, my friend uh, went ahead and provided me to uh, add to this tank, those ones uh, are already acclimated to the water of the area. Um, but they're not doing so good. So I've still kept watering them every few days uh, with some fresh water. You can tell the one in front, he does have some new growth on him. Um, so that, that's promising. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with this one, so we'll see. Um, but, you know, they're doing pretty good overall. And this little leaf right here, um, he's, he's been consistently getting uh, bigger and bigger. So the, uh, the existing mangroves, they're doing really good. So thanks for tuning in guys and uh, talk to you soon.